Hello everyone, welcome to GATE and UGC NET preparation series from Easy Engineering classes. In today's lecture, we will be studying two topics on data structures and the topics are pre-order, post-order traversal and V plus tree. So starting with the first question that came from GATE 2017 paper, we have to find out the post-order traversal of a tree given the pre-order traversal of a tree. So the pre-order traversal that is given to us is, let's write it down, 12, 8, 6, 2, 7, 9, 10, 16, 15, 19, 17 and 20. You know that in pre-order traversal each node is visited before its children and once the node has been visited then its left uh, tree is visited and then after that the right tree is visited. Now also you must remember that for any tree if we write the in order traversal then the in order traversal always gives us the ascending or uh, the order of the nodes that are increasing in nature all right, or non decreasing in nature. So for this the order would be the minimum node that would be 2, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 15, 16, 17, 19 and 20 and knowing two traversals you can easily find out the third traversal. You can even construct the tree. In, in order traversal each node is visited after its left uh, subtree is visited then the node is visited and then the right subtree is visited. So the, in pre-order the first node that will be visited is the root because the root it will form the root of the tree because the root is visited the foremost or in the very beginning. Then in, in order we will see where is 12 coming. 12 is coming here. So all the nodes present to the left of 12 would lie in the left subtree. Now in this left subtree we will see which node is visited next in pre-order. Because the root is visited for any subtree, the root would be visited first. So we see 8 is present here. So in the left subtree, 8 is visited first. That is why 8 would form the root. Now all the nodes that are present to the left of 8 would form the left subtree of 8. Now out of 2, 6 and 7, we see that 6 is visited out uh, before 2 and 7. So 6 would be the root of the left subtree of 8. Now only 2 lies to the left of 6 and 2 would form the only left child of 6. Now coming back to 8, the left uh, tree is done, the left subtree of 8 is done, remaining is the right subtree. In the right subtree there would be 9 and 10 and out of 9 and 10, 9 is visited first. So 9 would form the root of the right subtree and then 10 would be present. 10 would be present at the right child of 9. Now this part in the in order reversal forms the right subtree of 12. 12 was the root node and this is the right subtree. Out of 15 to 20, the first node that is visited is 16. So 16 forms the root of the right subtree of 12. The left child of 16 is only 15 and in the right subtree we have 17, 19 and 20 out of which 19 is visited before 17 and 20 in the pre-order traversal and like this 17 forms the left child and 20 forms the right child. So you can easily perform the post-order traversal here. Post order will be performed by visiting the node at the very last when the right and left subtrees are visited. Okay, so if we do left, right and then the node is visited. So initially we'll go till 2 because the node left would be visited. This node's left, this node's left that means 2. Since it does not has any left or right child so 2 would be visited. Then 6 does not have any right child okay we are missing 7 7 would be placed here sorry all right 
so uh, since six has a right child seven seven would be visited first then six would be visited then eight's right subtree would be visited coming to nine nine's children would be visited first which is 10 then nine and then eight similarly continuing in the same fashion we'll go to 12 but visit its right subtree then go to 16 but visit its left subtree first so it comes out to be 15 then 17 20 19 16 and 12 so as you can see this option is option number b and that is the correct answer now coming to the second question the question states that in a b plus tree if the search value is 8 bytes long and the block size is 5 and 2 bytes and the block pointer size the block pointer size is 2 bytes then the maximum order of the b plus tree is we have to find it out so you should remember that for any b plus tree we have a formula that order of that tree multiplied by the size of the block pointer size of the block pointer plus the order minus 1 multiplied by the size of the search value All right, this is always less than equal to the block size. So this is possible or this is this formula is valid because you should remember that in a B plus tree, the order, the, num the number of uh, block pointers would always be equal to the order of the B plus tree in the worst case, that is for the maximum case and the number of search values that would be present would always be order minus 1 at the maximum. Alright, so the formula that comes out to be would be order if we substitute these values. The order is uh, we have to find, suppose we write it down as x, x multiplied by the size of the block pointer. The size is given as 2, okay, so this is the size of the block pointer 2 plus x minus 1 multiplied by the search value size which is 8 and it is less than equal to 512 which is the block size. So if we solve this it will come out to be 2x plus 8x minus 8 less than equal to 512 which is 10x less than equal to 520 and x would come out to be less than equal to 52. So the maximum value of the order is 52 in the maximum case so that is your answer so these were two questions on uh, one of them on pre-order post order and another on b plus tree subscribe to the channel of easy engineering classes and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications about the upcoming videos for more lectures on gate computer science and ugc net stay tuned to our channel thank you for watching the video good luck